Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to connect Gmail to Slack and create an automatic email feed. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, I'm going to compose a message. Okay, so this is the email that I'm going to create. So I'm going to send this email to a person called as Michael Karras. So this is the email address michaelkaras481 at the rate gmail.com. Now this is really important that you know this email address. Okay, and then I'm going to mention the subject max class. And then we have the content or the message max class has been postponed. Okay, so this is a very simple message max class max class has been postponed. Excellent. And we are going to send it to this particular email address michaelkaras481 at the rate gmail.com. Let me just click on send. Okay, so my profile name is Heron Manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com. So this is my email address and I have sent this message to this email address Michael Karras 481 at the rate gmail.com. So let me just show you the message. So this is the message that has been delivered to this particular email address. Okay, so what's next? So same message will be shown on Slack. Okay, let me just show you the details. So as you can see, this is the slack notification name that is Aaron manual so this is my email profile and i have sent it via this particular email address Aaron manual 1991 at the rate gmail.com the subject was max class and this is the message max class has been postponed excellent so you must be thinking how did i do it how did i manage to send the data from gmail to slack so here i have used an integration and automation software called as public connect that integrates gmail and slack now the best part of using public connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you the process. So in the new tab, just type pabli.com, 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 press enter. So this is the website of uh, pabli.com over on products and here you will find connect. Just click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of public connect. Just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of public connect as you can see I already have made an account in public connect You can also create your own free account in just two minutes Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button create workflow click this a dialog box appears in front of you So we are going to give a name to this workflow. How about gmail? to slack Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's totally up to you. So let me just click on create so when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now using these two windows, we are going to create a workflow to integrate Gmail and Slack. Now there's something I have to tell you after we create a workflow that has integrated Gmail and Slack, the link of this uh, workflow will be posted in the description box so that you can clone it and access it directly into your account. Okay, so now let's start the process. Now in the choose app, we are going to select it as email parser by Pabli. Okay, email parser by Pabli. So you must be thinking the application trigger should be Gmail or something. Why email parser by Pabli? So here's the thing. Email parser, with the help of email parser or the mail hook, you can parse the emails and extract the value from your emails and send those values across to any different software that you want. <laughs> okay, so I know that you didn't understand a thing. So let us select email parser by Pabli. Okay, so as you can see, when you selected email parser by Pabli, you will find a unique email address. Okay, so anytime you select email parser by Pabli, you will find email, a particular unique email address. So what's next? So the idea is that we are going to send an email to this particular email address and you will understand in a minute what's going on. So basically, I'm just going to copy this email address and it is showing it is uh, waiting for the data and uh, I, it can be any account. I'm just going to compose a message. Okay. So I'm just going to compose a random message. So something like uh, science class postponed. Okay, this is the message. And uh, this is basically the subject due to Corona outbreak. The classes has been postponed okay so a very simple message and now in the recipient i'm just going to paste the unique email address okay 
So what we are going to do here is at this point just click on send. So the message has been sent, the email has been sent. So let me just straight away take you to Pabli Connect. So it is showing it is waiting for the data, give it one or two seconds. Okay, so as you can see we have got the data. Now the data is about the person who has sent the email. Now this is from uh, an account called as aaronmanuel1991 at the rate gmail.com. So this is the account name and this is basically the subject science class postponed. And then we have uh, the text. So this is basically again the subject. So where is the body text? Yes, this is the one body text. Due to corona outbreak, the classes has been postponed. So I hope you get the gist. So we have a uh, email, very unique email address. Okay. And uh, when we send the email, the data will be captured here. So if you're not getting the gist, so if you remember earlier, we had sent an email to this particular email address that is Michael Karas 481. So as you can see, so this is, uh, as you can see, many different people have also sent him email. So these are the people who sent him Snay Tripathi, Darius Morak, and we have all the people's name as well as email in Slack. Okay, so this is because we have uh, integrated this particular email address with email parser. So any person who will be sending an email to this particular address, that email will be read by email parser and send it to third party applications like Slack. If you're not getting the gist, it's totally okay. So basically, the gist is anytime a person sends an email to this particular email address, the data will be captured by Pabli Connect. I hope at least this is clear to you. So the problem is that not many people know about this email address. Okay, they only know their your own personal email address like this one. Okay, they only know the email address that you really have with Gmail. So what we are going to do here is we are going to associate this particular email address to this. Okay, so this is how you do it. First of all, the idea is that if any person, if any person sends an email to this particular email address, the data will be captured by Perl Public Connect. Okay, so if you remember correctly, earlier it was, if someone sends the email to this particular email address, the data would have been captured by Public Connect. So basically, we are going to set up the same profile on this email address. And this is how you do it. So first of all, you just click on this gear icon, the settings icon, you click this. And just click on see all settings, click this. Okay, so now you have to select on filters and blocked addresses, you click here. And just click on create a new filter click this so now we have to enter the email id now this is to basically the this email address so i'm just going to copy this email address okay click on create new filter and just paste it here okay so this is the email address and it has been mapped so the idea is that anytime someone sends an email to this particular email address it will be sent to public connect I hope it is clear. So next, what we are going to do here is we are just going to click on create filter. Okay, so here we have some choices like skip the box, mark as read, star, forward it. So we are just going to forward it. Forward it where? So this is the most important question. Forward it where? So we are going to forward this email, the data from the email to this particular email address. So that is why I'm just going to copy this. Okay. And I'm just going to click on add forwarding address. We click here. Okay, click on add forwarding address and paste this address here and just click on next. Okay, just click on proceed. Now basically it is uh, trying to send a confirmation code. Now the confirmation code will be received by Public Connect. Okay, so let me just click on OK. So we will have a confirmation email confirmation code soon. So Nope, we don't have the confirmation code because we didn't click on recapture email response. So once again, let me just click on this button recapture email response, click on yes. Okay, so basically the idea is that we just want a confirmation code. Okay, but uh, what we are going to do here is earlier we didn't click on this uh, uh, capture response. Okay, so that is why we are going to uh, once again send the confirmation response confirmation code. So let me just click on recent email remove recent just click on recent. Okay, so as you can see confirmation email has been sent. So let's have a look. So it will send you a confirmation code and this data will be captured by public connect. Yes, the data has been captured. So let me just show you the confirmation code. So this is the confirmation code and let me just show you. Okay, so this is the confirmation code. You just copy this. 
copy this and simply paste it here okay and just click on verify okay so it is showing that the data has been verified i hope the gist is clear if anyone sends an email to this particular email address the data will be forwarded to this particular email address and it will be captured by Pabli Connect. Okay. Now there is something else you have to do. At present it is showing disable forwarding. Just change it to forward a copy of incoming mail to this address. Okay. So I think we are ready. Just click on save changes. Okay. So as you can see it is showing you are forwarding your email to this particular email address. Okay. Excellent. Now what we are going to do here is once again we are just going to click on recapture email parser response click this click on yes so it is showing it is waiting for the data excellent now we are going to send an email to this particular email address and the data will be captured by Pabli connect so what i'm going to do here is uh, using a very different email address so how about this one okay we are going to send him an email so let us do that so let me just click on compose Okay, so the email address is this one, if you remember, Aaron Manuel, 1991 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, and the subject is, the subject I'm planning to add is um, English class. Okay, so this is the subject. English class has been postponed. Just a very simple message okay and uh, this is the subject this is the content and this is the email address now remember this why are we sending email to this particular email address because we have set up a parser to this email address so the idea is that anytime we send an email to this particular email address the data will be captured by public connect and from public connect it will be sent to third party apps like slack so let me just click on send okay so the message has been sent from this account that is alex alexander and this is the email address excellent so let's have a look whether Pabli Connect has captured the data. So it is showing it is still waiting for the data. Give it one or two seconds. Okay, so it is it is showing the data has been captured. Okay, so let's have a look. So it is showing all the details. Okay, so let me just uh, show you the body text. The English class has been postponed. That is basically, I think, the content matter. And then we have uh, the rest of the details like this is the person who has sent him, me the message. And this is the email address and this is the subject okay so we have got all the details now we have to sync all this detail in slack to send a notification now what we are going to do here is we are just going to click on this action window and we are going to select the choose app as slack slack it is okay so now in the action event how about we make it as send channel message without image okay this one okay i'm sorry send channel message without image then just click on connect then again just click on connect with slack okay so now public connect is demanding access so before you press allow let me just tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100% safe and secure with us so let me just press allow authorization successful just press ok so as you can see we have uh, some fields the purpose of these fields is very simple we are going to compose a message to be sent as a notification on slack channel now uh, the first uh, field is of a uh, channel and uh, these are all the channels that is present in my slack account all the channels that is present here okay these are all the channels that is present here is being simply reflected here this is because public connect is integrated with slack so what if i create a new channel so let me just create a new channel okay and the name of the channel is data from gmail okay and we are not going to add in description let me just click on create i'm going to add four people to this channel okay and done so we have three people in this channel and a new channel called as data from gmail has been created so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on refresh so when i click on refresh i can expect to find this a newly created channel in the drop down so let's have a look so how about we just uh, search gmail or something okay yeah this is the one data from gmail so the idea is that we are going to send notifications on this particular channel when the when there is an email on this particular email address this is the email address so let's uh, enter some details okay let's compose the message so first of all let's uh, keep the message type as plain text now in the message we are going to compose a very simple message the message is it would be sent as a notification so 
first of all name of the sender so let me just map the name so the name is Alex Alexander okay so this is the name and we are going to enter the rest of the details in the next line so that is why let me just enter slash n so this will make sure the rest of the details are on the next line so uh, we have uh, the email of the sender okay I'm sorry we actually have to type it here and let me just add a colon here it will look much better okay email of sender colon and this is the email of the sender and we have mapped it and then we are going to enter the subject in the next line subject of email colon and let me just map the subject that is English class and we are just going to map the matter or the content in the next line that is message message of email or body of the email so the email message was I think classes English or something it was I don't really remember oh yeah English class has been postponed and we have mapped it so the bot name my name is uh, let's say Zeus okay so I'm keeping the bot name as Zeus the bot icon can be simply ignored just click on save and send test request okay so the response is a positive one so let us have a look at the first message okay let me just uh, refresh this okay so this is the message name of the sender Alexander this is the email of the sender email subject of the email and message of the email okay so we have got the first message now I'm planning to do uh, one I'm just planning to send one more email message okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, select one more account okay so how about this one Manisha Agrawal so she's also going to send an email to this particular email address Aaron Manuel 1991 so let me just compose the message to this person that is uh, Aaron Manuel now remember this with Aaron Manuel 1991 at the gmail.com we have integrated Pabli Connect because of email parser the subject is uh, biology classes biology class and this is the message biology classes will continue okay so this is the email address where we'll be sending the email this is the subject and this is the message biology classes will continue before we send let me just show you the name of the person that is Manisha Agrawal and this is the email Manisha Agrawal 1289 at the rate gmail.com so let me just click on send so the message has been sent so let's have a look in slack do we have some data of Manisha Agrawal let me just refresh this okay so the data hasn't arrived give it one or two seconds yes we do have the data name of the sender that is Manisha Agrawal this is the email and this is the subject and this is the message of the email excellent so as you can see we have a definite integration between gmail and slack with help of public connect now before you leave let me just explain the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just take you back to public connect and let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated email parser by Pabli. okay so you just added the email account or email address to that particular uh, email address to which the people will be sending the email address and the data would be sent to slack okay and after that you have integrated slack to public connect so now there's a perfect flow of data between gmail and slack excellent now if you like this video please comment share and subscribe if you have any queries please visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks